Welcome to Kaviro's demonstration on remote authentication vulnerability exploitation with IGO. My name is Raul Sharma and today we're going to look at how to perform security tests on a mobile application to exploit vulnerabilities with remote authentication. For this demonstration, we're going to use IGO. IGO is a mobile application that allows you to identify and exploit mobile application security vulnerabilities. This program is built and maintained by OWASP. Many mobile apps transmit sensitive pieces of data to servers. Some examples of such data are usernames, passwords, and contact lists. While mobile OS developers have recommendations for dealing with privacy issues regarding data during transmit, developers often fail to follow guidance and implement a secure solution. Furthermore, testers are unaware how to test for poor implementations. Let's get straight to exploiting some vulnerabilities. I won't cover the installation or the setup in this video, but if you're interested, check in the video description and click the appropriate link. Many mobile applications communicate with a remote server to access content, sync data across devices, or to access services. I go as a mock server. It can communicate with so that we can look at how we might exploit that service. In order to use that server, it's necessary to install the Sinatra in the JSON gem. These gems can be installed directly from the terminal with the following command. Since I already have these gems installed, I'm going to start that server that comes with the IGO installation folder. To start that server, I'm going to navigate inside the IGO folder and look for the server folder. From here, I can run the following command to start that server. Once the server is up and running, I'm going to navigate to the home screen of the IGO application. From here, I'm going to select the authentication category, then select the remote authentication subcategory. Click the Start Exercise button to stimulate data transfer between the app and the mock server. On this page, data has already been populated. The username contains the value donkey. Please memorize the value I'm going to enter into the password field. I typed in my pass into the password field. Now that all the data is populated properly, I'm going to click the login option. This will replicate the typical login prompt available on many mobile applications. Let's make our way to the terminal to see what the server picked up. Look what we found. Remember that username and password we typed in earlier? As we can see, the username and the password is transmitted to the server in plain text. Sensitive information such as this should never be submitted in such a manner. It's absolutely necessary to use industry standard encryption algorithms to protect such data. Time to open up a bug report and send this back to the developers. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something on remote authentication vulnerabilities. And we hope you check out Kaveros other videos in our mobile security testing series or follow us on YouTube. If you would like to learn more about Kaveros, what we do, how we can help your organization, check out our website at www.coveros.com. That's www.coveros.com.